Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today is the 5th of June 2020. If we go back to the 5th of June 1926, that was when my nan, a very special lady, was born. So today is her 94th birthday. And it's absolutely incredible. And you know what? I am so proud and so... Literally, when I talk about my nan, I literally melt. She is the most amazing, caring, beautiful person you would ever wish to have met. And believe you me, I believe that the Lord really, really broke the book when he made my nan and truly made her perfect. She is an absolutely inspiration to me and without her, I just don't know what I would do. I absolutely thank every day and I thank the Lord that he gave my nan and I thank my nan that he gave me my amazing mum. And you know what? The two of them are just incredible people and I feel so privileged to share this life with them. Now, my nan's birthday. Of course, we are in the middle of a coronavirus pandemic, which the last weeks leading up to my nan's birthday, I have been literally, as we all have in my family, stressing, worrying, are we going to be able to get to see her? And you know, my nan actually has Alzheimer's and that's why it's so, so incredible that she's made it to 94 as well. My nan is an extremely strong character and she has literally looked at this illness in the face and she's literally just held two fingers up to it and all the way she has fought it she's come back at it stronger and she has not let this illness just take over and she's an absolute truly inspirational person for all aspects of life but my goodness what an absolute character and I <sighs> As I say, I, I literally get welled up when I when I even think about it. And when I look at my nan, the things which she's done for people, the things what she's done in her life is just incredible. And she's a very, very special person and a very special person to a lot of people. In the middle of a coronavirus pandemic, I was so, as we all were, setting my hopes on seeing my nan today. But unfortunately, that hasn't been able to happen because my nan of where she is, is in a very lovely place. She is in, um, she's in a, a care home for people with my nan's illness, but she has a beautiful uh, room and the place where she is is very, very lovely. And they look after her incredibly well. And I'm there all of the time with my mum, making sure that my nan is my nan and keeping my nan as my nan for as long as possible, keeping every little detail as close to what my nan would like to be. Some days her communication is not so good, other days it's better, but she literally fights this all the way. And we, my, especially myself and my mum, have stood with her the whole way. And do you know what? I, I, I only wish that things could be different. I really, really do. I've been so, so close to my nan and so close to my mum. But it's 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 you ha you have to make the most of a bad you have to make the best of a bad situation and that's what we do and you know what just because somebody has alzheimer's never ever push them aside and think that they don't know their own thoughts or they don't know their own feelings or their own emotions because they do they absolutely do and you know what because sometimes your memory isn't there if you've got alzheimer's literally make every moment count cherish every moment tell that person i do i tell my nan that i love her all the time Never ever take anything for granted and never think next time I do this, next time I do that. Do it right now. So today, what we have done, even though I haven't been able to see my nan, I, uh, myself, my mum, my brothers, my twin brother and people in my close immediate family, we've put lovely gifts together, we've put lovely flowers and plants and we've, and we've done something really, really special. We put it all together and myself and my twin brother took that down to where my nan is. Um, and unfortunately, I haven't been able to see my nan today, which absolutely breaks my heart. Um, and it's really, really difficult. It's absolutely rubbish. I haven't missed my nan's birthday. I think the last time I would have missed my nan's birthday was when I had to go to school. And I'm now 26, soon to turn 27. So it's been a long time and it's been, it's, that is just uncomprehendable. And it's, um, my mum has been extremely upset. That's her, her mum. Um, we're all very close. And just even seeing how upset my mum's been has been heartbreaking. And it's just horrific. But I am trying to stay positive. My mum was an extremely positive person. She's seen the positive in every situation. And she's seen the positive in everyone. Um, so I am looking forward and hoping for the day when we can all enjoy sunny days again together. And when the brighter days come. 
and that we can all put this coronavirus pandemic behind us. And what I am doing is hopefully when my nan gets through this and we all get through this and we can enjoy a really lovely birthday celebration with her after this. And I'm really, really hoping on that. And, I, and I'm really, really looking forward to that. It's going to be incredible. It really, really is. But for now, I'm not going to show a picture of my nan, but the one behind is my twin brother, me and my nan in the middle. And that picture means the world to me. As you can tell, that sits by my bed. And every night I have a little chat with my nan and I make a prayer to the Lord. And so far, things have been being looked after really, really well. And that I'm eternally thankful. Um, but yeah, this clip is all about how amazing my nan is. And you know what? As a child, I spent a lot of time growing up. I spent a lot of time, me and my twin brother, growing up. Summers, it would always be because my dad was in the Navy um, and with work and things. But we're all incredibly very close. I'm very close to my father. But it was always my mum, my nan, me and my twin brother. And I have three incredible brothers. Um, but I'm growing up incredible Nan's there all the time, and even though my nan was older, she was never ever old. She was always young, and she was always youthful. And literally, when my nan walked and is in, walks into a room, or when she comes into a room, it would literally she would be the shining light. And you'd think it was a film star. My nan is an incredibly glamorous lady, very much the same as my mum is an incredibly glamorous lady, but. It really pains me that I don't see that now. It's it's a really, really difficult time because, yes, it's a coronavirus pandemic. But, of course, my nan has Alzheimer's, so it makes it incredibly difficult to stay positive all the time. But I have to. And you know what? I treat my nan as my nan all the time. I never treat her any differently. I buy her gifts in exactly the same way of what she would like and and what she would always enjoy. And it's that's really, really special. And we, and we still share some incredible, lovely, special times. And the amount of pictures I have is incredible. And it's and they're such a treasure to me. They always have and they always will be. Um, but yeah, and even sometimes when I look at my mum, because my mum resembles my nan so much, that's difficult. And because I'm so very close to them, that's really difficult. That really is. And when somebody means the world to you and you're looking at that person, but they don't quite click on to things, and that's how I'm going to describe it, because I'm not going to go into detail, but anybody who knows Alzheimer's knows that that person is slowly being robbed from you. But do you know what? My advice would be, have the utmost patience with somebody with that illness. Enjoy every second of every day you have with them. Tell them you love them all the time. Because just because that person's older, or just because that person has Alzheimer's or dementia, does not mean that they will be the first to leave this earth. And if anything has has taught us all through this pandemic, we should treasure and cherish every moment and every person to us. Because there's so many poor people who have lost their lives, young and old. And I've always never looked at my nan in a way that she was elderly or that she had this illness and that my heart broke. My heart breaks every time I see her because she can't be her, for her sort of own self and for her situation. But I don't never look at my nan in pity because I absolutely know if I'd done that, I think I'd get a slap across the face. But but yeah, but yeah, hopefully you can you can and you may think, why am I even doing this? This is so personal. And it is in so incredibly personal. But my nan is to be celebrated. It's a huge milestone for her today. Brighter days will come where I will enjoy my nan and I will be able to be with my nan and my mum and my twin brother and my other brothers and, and her will all be together and aunts and uncles and, and, and we can enjoy it properly. But for now, my birthday messages have come from somebody else to the people who look after Nan. And they've had a, uh, she's had a birthday party today with the people um, who look after her and her friends of who she is relatively close to and of who she lives with. And because it's like a community where my Nan is for people who have my nan's illness. Um, but that's heartbreaking that they get to spend more time with my nan than what I do. Um, but let's just keep this incredibly positive. And you know what? Today is a special day. It's my nan's milestone. It's her 94th birthday, which absolutely is incredible. I so wish I could be there with her. But like I written, uh, I wrote in the bottom of my nan's card after a lovely message that I'm sorry I can't be there with you today, but I will be there with you in your heart and with your memories. And I truly believe I am. 
People may think with Alzheimer's, does that person know you? Yes, I can absolutely categorically say that when I look at my nan, I get that warm smile and I know that she knows me, my mum and my brothers and I just know it's there. Some days it's cloudy, but it's there. One door opens, one door closes. And with my nan's illness, that's what it's like. Doors close, doors open. And enjoy the moments when those doors are open. And I do. And I just hope it's not too long before I can enjoy my nan again. And yeah, I, I mean, I honestly, last night, 4th of June, literally, coming into the 5th of June, I literally waited up until two minutes past 12. I looked at my nan's picture and I said, you've done it. You've absolutely done it, nan. And I, and I made a prayer to the Lord. And I thanked for my nan getting there. And honestly, I could not wait to see her today. And it was all because of, let's say, a miscommunication that somebody shouldn't actually have been able to of say that they were letting me see my nan today through a glass door. And we all had our hopes that we were going to be seeing my nan through a glass patio door. And that person who promised that shouldn't have done. Um, they were actually trying to be more helpful. And actually, they they weren't able to fulfill that. So that's really heartbreaking. That makes things difficult. But I'm holding on to the fact that brighter days will come and I will be able to enjoy the company of my mum and my nan and my brothers all together and we will have a very special time. But honestly, this is all about my nan and what an incredible person. I do not think that in our local area there is many people who do not actually know my nan. I think growing up, when I would ever venture out with my nan, she would know everybody literally everybody and do you know what it would take us just a, a simple visit to the town center going shopping with my nan she would literally have to stop and talk to every single person and everybody knew my nan but do you know what everybody knew my nan and was in absolute awe of her this little lady this little glamorous lady always done up to the nines was such a special special person even when i was and, and is such a special person when i looked up to my nan i would smile and i would think that that is my nan very much like i did my mum stand back that is my mum and i just think that is i'm just so fortunate and i'm so blessed in this life to have that and um i wouldn't change it for the world and i've been with my i looked after my nan for quite a few years now through her illness and I've got to share some really, really special, special treasured times. Um, and we all have together. Each weekend, it's usually my mum, my nan, me and my uncle. And on other occasions, it's me, myself, uh, me, myself, myself, my mum and my nan, my twin brother or my oldest brother. And we have just so many lovely memories. And you know what? My nan's birthday, it makes me think of all of that. It makes me think of all the amazing times. And you know what? I, I thought to myself, actually, what a roller coaster it's been. And yeah, just absolutely incredible. And my nan is such an inspiration, such an amazing, amazing person. This evening, I'm going to celebrate and I'm going to toast my nan. And until I can see her again on those brighter days, I literally call all the time to the people who look after my nan and where she uh, lives in like a complex for people where my uh, with my nan's illness and I think they must be sick and tired of hearing my voice but I will continue to do it until I can actually see for myself um, but but yeah but yeah what a treasured character and I cannot believe that she is 94 you'd actually think my nan was so much younger she was absolutely blessed with looks and she is so so youthful even though she has Alzheimer's now, you would never think that. My nan always said, bless her, to my mum, never ever let me die a grey-haired old lady. And for a start, I hate the word old because I always find it so, it's so end of, so end of the line. Um, you're always, no matter how old you are, you're older. You always add value to life. You add value to those who love you around you. And you have so much experience in life. Age is only a number, whether you're 9, 99 or 109. In my eyes, that's what I think. And I am an absolutely true, absolutely stand, stand by those words through and through. And you know what? I'm, and, and I think at any age, you can achieve anything. If it doesn't affect your mind like Alzheimer's, even if you have something like dementia, you can still go on and you can still have fulfilling moments of your life and you can enjoy so much. It's testing. But you can. You absolutely can. And um, yeah, absolutely. I personally don't think my nan liked being slightly older, but she literally hold, holds two fingers up to age and to dementia Alzheimer's. And it's literally like, I'm going to give it a good go. And she and she really does. And she's still here to, to this day. And 
good on her. She's our land girl. She was in the land army, and my nan thoroughly enjoyed that time. And that, I'm so, so proud of her. We've recently had the celebrations of VE Day, and how incredible that my nan was part of that. She, she really, really done her bit for this country, and she was in the land army, and she worked incredibly hard and every time my nan always had i can remember saturday mornings i used to say my nan at weekends lots and lots of years at weekends and i remember on saturday mornings me and my nan having breakfast cups of tea and you know, english cups of tea <laughs> and she would tell me all these stories about her and my grandfather and my nan and her times in the land army and i used to just love it and be in awe of these stories and Wow. Wow. Just an incredible, incredible lady. Okay, so the rest is right here in my heart. And now all there is to do is my nan has turned 94 today. It's her birthday, the 5th of June. So if you're watching this, I hope you join me with a toast to my nan's birthday. To my nan at 94. A very happy birthday to you, nan. And I love you so much forever and always. And may the Lord shine on you, Nan, and continue your grace. Nan, you mean the world to me. Love you so, so much. Thank you very much. And thank you for sharing that with me. Until next time, we will see you then. Bye-bye now. Thank you very much.